Okay, everyone, welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma! Um, we are here about to make- to decide who to kill, Choose I guess. who to execute right is away. where we're at. So, last time we jumped right into this game, we accidentally got out, oops, um, <laughs> and then we're like, no, 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 scratch that, and then, like, went back and purposely went back into the game. Um, we are in the Nevada test site facility for the Mars mission, mm -hmm. um, which I realize actually hasn't been revealed in this game yet. We just know that we're in the Nevada desert. But they given... said that they'd been training for uh, the Mars. Did they mission. say that? They, okay. Yeah, they just had a they had a long they conversation just said that. about. That's right. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, and we are here with um, Phi, Doctor Sigma Climb, and Diana. Yes. Um, and now we need to decide who to execute. And I vote Q team. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, Q. <laughs> Bye. So it's a lower risk. We don't know Q team. Yeah. No. Don't want to kill Junpei, no. certainly. Or Kane. No. Or Carlos. Or Carlos. <laughs> who Your vote has been accepted. We will know soon enough. <laughs> well, that was One a day. good choice. Do you think it'll be okay? So long as Gab's note was the truth. All we could do was trust them. I suppose. Yeah, okay, how does this work? 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Oh, do we not even know? Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. Shit! You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the brain Whoa. When you next wake, those who survive will be able to regret the decision they made. Lovely. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. So Zero can just kind of mess with the whole setup whenever, oh, whenever they want, it looks whoa. like. Okay, interesting. So we're about to remember Maybe. what we just did, possibly. Nothing unlocked over here. Yep, unfortunately. Fascinating. Okay. So it looks like it wants us to, to learn about the teams okay. before we get too deep into this. Uh, C team. C team. Let's go. Let's do this. Come through here. Yes. Let's meet Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> and um, Junpei and Akane. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, they're old friends Execution though. Execution frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> just surprise. Just, oh. Oh. <laughs> Big frowny face. <laughs> okay, we've got the prep room. We've got a decontamination room. Cool. Ooh, we've got control. control. Nice. Uh, we've got power room. Yeah, the one, the D one was very uh, like loungy. Mm -hmm. There's lots of lounge. Infirmary. Stuff, infirmary. Well, but they all had one central lounge. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Pantry. All right. Some of these sound somewhat familiar. Oh, here again. So this is the last room. Yes. Rec room. We've checked everywhere we could. I mean, I guess a lot of the rooms in this are going to be similar it's to just as Zero said, huh? On there's no way to get out facility. except by opening the X door. Fifty minutes left until the vote deadline. Don't tell me you want to vote. How can we not? If we refuse, C-Team gets two votes automatically. We'll die. But... Hey, do you think this could be part of the experiment? DCOM's whole psychological test. Nope. What? <laughs> why? <laughs> that mask guy called himself Zero. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our bracelets, right? So we'll be sleeping and then bam. Or maybe there's a bunch of different ways. Angsty tired Junpei. Jeez, Junpei. <laughs> if only there was Great. a way to contact someone on the other teams. Why would you need to reach them? What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C team or something? Well, no, but I thought why not spread out the votes? What do you mean? Remember what Zero said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. 
Maybe C team could vote for D team, D team for Q team, and Q team for C team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. And that'd make it a three-way tie. A and no one would have to die? How do we make sure they know to do it? Deus Ex Doggy. <laughs> Deus Ex, what was his name, Gab? Gab. Deus Ex Glorious Gab. Gab. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey! Mira! Eric! Diana! Phi! Sigma! Can you hear us? Uh, it's not working. <laughs> Damn it! Damn this Juve! <laughs> hey, Adane, uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? Huh? Morphogenetic field? <sighs> oh, yeah. We gotta explain this to you, bud. Well, or not. <laughs> 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 like his shrug, like end where I treat too. What's this supposed to mean? The game will end, and something about two people. I guess the tough part is figuring out treat. If it's like trick or treat, then maybe it means there's a reward or a gift or something. But it could also mean treatment, which would imply being cared for. Either way, it doesn't make sense. Hey, uh, anyone know what this thing could be? A box. Oh, we What's a box. inside of it as well? Yeah, everyone Maybe seems some to have kind a of white box. smoke. Okay. Matamate Bako? <laughs> You've heard of it, Carlos? Urashima Taro, right? Japanese folklore. Something about jumping through time, I think. <laughs> this label says Force Quit Box. What's that? Looks like there's a keyboard. There's probably a password that goes there. Then something ends if you punch it in? But what, though? Maybe the game Zero's making us play. Wait, wait. You really think Zero'd put something that easy here? It seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. Didn't think it'd work. Just pressing random buttons isn't going to solve anything. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. this Junpei... He has How only much... been through 999. He's only been through 999. He is 999 and then a year of running after Akane. That's right. Yeah. And then so, Akane's fucking here. What yeah. now? We also don't know what can we do? how much this Akane knows. Maybe we should yeah, just get this true. voting business over with. Junpei. <laughs> no, we still have some time. Come on, man. You're supposed to be the leader here. That's true. I, that's what I'm wondering, how much they know. This mess anyway. mm -hmm. Do you guys have any ideas? Like with Phi and Sigma, it's easy. We have a really explicit outline of how yeah. how much they know and why. <clears throat> um, but what's interesting about this is like, I think Junpei's just like a, shit man, I, I saw people die and my childhood girlfriend turned out to be real messed up. Yeah. And then I, I love her, and then I saved her life, and then she ran with her brother. She also kidnapped me and made me play this game yeah, to it's save just her like, life. It's just and so <laughs> he's, like, real tired. I wonder, I'm sure Phi and Sigma had mentioned to him, like, what happens in the future, too. And yeah, that probably. probably fucks, fucks you up a little bit. With Akane, it's um, way trickier, because yeah. Akane posts this new everything about Sigma's whole deal, but didn't necessarily know what happened in the um in this experiment but that yeah. couldn't be just because she didn't know what would get them out she only knew what got them there and it's tricky and because she's... it's a because it's a paradox yeah, yeah. that's the thing is she's just tricky okay. um what's also funny is like when june is like is the morphogenetic field of connor i think he was just being mean oh <laughs> yeah he's just being right. rude yeah because um, she, she kind of just straight up ignored yeah him. yeah of like well, yeah, you could solve this just if you tap into it. Yeah, yeah, just get the answers to Kanye Cheese. <laughs> Junpei! <laughs> oh, this is, like, already feeling a little tragic. Like, uh, who is Zero? Who is Zero? Uh, to be accurate, you should probably ask, who is the second Zero instead? Yeah. <laughs> then that means there has to have been a first one, right? Yeah, there is. You know him? Sorta. I brought it up earlier. A bracelet a lot like this one has been strapped to my wrist before. It happened last year. Akane and I were trapped somewhere. The person responsible back then was named Zero. But I don't think that one has anything to do with this one. <laughs> it's got to be connected. Just please. Believe me. She's right. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Which is it? interesting to hear just from Akane. Akane, I mean, we we knew this, but like Akane being like, I don't know. It's also interesting that these two are choosing not to drop all that info, whereas like Phi and Sigma were like a little cavalier with their. It makes info. sense though, because Phi and Sigma are kind of cavalier. They are. The problem yeah. with Akane and Junpei is they're both really smart. Yeah, and they're schemers. Yeah, too. and they're like, manipulative, yeah. and they're just like they 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 always like playing their cards really close to their chest. Yes. Where Sigma's like, here's everything I know at all times ever. Yeah, and then Phi going, it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what's Zero's purpose? Why is Zero doing this? To make us play a game, right? This decision game or whatever. With the fate of mankind on the line. So it's true. Hmm. Do you know something, Akane? I think... If we end up losing this game, we're all going to die. Six billion people will. Hmm. Yep. So what Sigma said back then up in DCOM was... This is what I mean. Sigma's just rate, like, yeah. billion people will He's die. trying really hard to be like, guys, come on. <laughs> yes. What Sigma said is the truth. Have you ever heard of the term reverie syndrome? What causes it is unknown. Neither the nerves nor the brain have abnormalities. But somehow, this disease causes you to stop reacting to a variety of stimuli. I've heard there are people from all over the world who have become affected by this. Hey, hold up. How does this and what we were talking about before go together? Shouldn't you know already? Huh? A crisis. Mankind is currently facing what is clearly an unprecedented crisis. Those affected are sensing it's coming. Interesting. Reverie syndrome. You've heard of it? Yeah. Kinda. Do tell, please. Or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck is Carlos, though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd <laughs> he's just Carlos right he's now. Just Carlos. <laughs> uh, what's your relationship? Akane Kurashiki. Junpei Tenmyoji. You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. You even went to the same school. So you're childhood friends. Who told you that? Sigma. You mentioned it back <laughs> Jeez, in DCOM. Sigma. <laughs> we all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. Information spreads fast. So I was saying, real, real so, cavalier. Whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. You two signed up together, right? No, we didn't. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me? You guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? Well, it um, wasn't a coincidence. Yeah. It was inevitable. Why did you subject yourself to this circus? I didn't mention it before. I... Well, I kind of really need a lot of cash. Oh, they said buddy. they'd give us 500000 if we joined up. Huh. Color me surprised. Thought a hero of justice had no need of money. A what? Didn't you say you're a firefighter? A really good one? You faced off against danger and saved a whole bunch of people. Sounds like a hero to me. I just have good instincts. <laughs> Doesn't seem to matter where I find myself. This is Captain America looking. Yeah, he is. telling me which path has death at the end. <laughs> this Captain America firefighter motherfucker I in know. here. I know. Just be like, I just need money. <laughs> I'm a hero, but I, I do need some cash. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm stuck between Akane Kurashiki and Junpei <laughs> and Miyoji. Do you hear something? Yes. Over there. Gab! <laughs> Where did you come from? Okay, what's the deal with Gab? Why is it in Gab? We need to figure Looks out. Looks like you made it here using this vent. <sighs> Does that mean it's connected to the Why surface? Why did Zero leave a dog with a little, so. like, delivery the thing on him? The purpose of a little delivery shelter. tube. So he came from another ward then. It's too dark, I can't see anything. But Ward Q is down that direction, right? Think you can fit in there, Akane? Uh, no, there's no way. <laughs> Someone likes cake too much. Oh, I know. Let's cut off Junpei's arm. <laughs> he should be able to fit through then. Huh. 
Hey, Mira! You guys! Eric! No answer, huh? <laughs> Did they steal you away from DCOM too? But why the dog? Maybe they felt bad about leaving him alone up there? Baloney. You really think Zero do us any favors? Hold on. I think I got an idea that may work. This here, this case, it holds medication, doesn't it? Uh-huh. It's empty. Did that bastard Zero take the meds? What? I still think this could work. <laughs> we can use it. There's a, a lot of conclusions yeah. they're jumping to <laughs> incredibly quickly. Yeah, a lot of stuff has happened before this moment. That's a that's just so weird. Pen. I found them on the counter of the bar. Yeah. Well, there's something written on it. Oh, uh, I did that. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting <laughs> for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Oh! You're going to put it in the case and have Gab go through the vent. Cross your fingers he can get to Q team. You really think it'll be that simple? So we shouldn't? It's really funny because it actually works. Well, like, he makes it. Well, we don't it. have anything to lose. Why don't we give it a shot? Well, except in the reality where we voted for C team because we thought they were liars. We didn't do that. True. We could have. We could have done that. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Gab makes it. Gab, through. look at him go! Look at his Gab! There are the pup goes! Go? Cheese. <laughs> Pick it up with the coaster. It was over there on the counter. Why don't he's we just, just toss him some cheese ketchup on. and pickles, too? <laughs> Maybe next time he comes back, he'll be a hot dog. It <laughs> was a joke. <laughs> Carlos is like, oh my god. I'm with these people. All right. Five Carlos minutes left. Like, god, I sure am here, aren't I? Oh. Uh, <laughs> not come back. Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we forfeit. I know. It's funny too, because not all of the shots have them like with mouth flaps. Yeah, I don't hey, know. That's just how the game is. One thing like, we can do. What I can tell. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the gap letter? Uh, the what? The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver. <laughs> C team is voting for D team, so D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Yeah. Uh, used to, to being able to so progress what? text. Oh yeah, and no worries. So, vote for Q team instead. Damn! What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting. If we do that, they'll end up with two votes and... Yep, Q team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D team and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game, according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. This is we'll not the number game. We'll just falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. Well, that's the thing. The goal is not get everyone out alive. Yeah. The goal is you're not gonna get everyone the out alive. The goal is make the right Come decision. On, Carlos, well, the goal is to kill as many people as no, possible as can't. quickly as possible. Uh. But like. We don't know what the goal of the whole game is. No. But it's set up such that you gotta kill people. Yeah, it's like it's it's not will you ally and be friends or betray no. and defend yourself. It's like, hey, who are you gonna kill? You can't you literally can't go any further unless you kill someone. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, hey, do you betray? But everyone has only one BP. <sighs> so like it just it Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so fuck. Do we do what shit? Blech. We vote for D team. We vote for- because that's what we said on the note. Well, it's- okay, right? so here's what's interesting, is we know, in some reality, that D-team voted for Q-team. Yes. So if we vote for Q-team, Q-team dies. Correct. But we could have voted for C-team, in which case we would have wanted to vote for D-team. Right. So we're making these decisions. We just came from We're on both sides of the- the prisoner's dilemma. Yes. Weird. <laughs> weird. We're kind of playing ourselves in a weird way. L yeah. Okay. So I think we should go by the note for all of these, because then we'll jump to the next node for Q team, and then vote according to how Q team should vote, and, just and see how that goes. And see how the null yeah. goes. If everyone gets one, every team gets one vote. Okay. Let's do it. This is. You're right. This is the closest thing to an all ally as we can get mm -hmm. right now. Even is, though it's at least following the logic up front. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't advance the game. 
I know, Junpei, you're not going to be happy about that. Sorry. Your vote has been accepted. Ah, oh, I was worried you weren't going to do it, Carlos. You'll see, Akane. Just because we did what we said we would doesn't mean this will work. Hell, we don't even know if our note reached the other teams or not. And even if it did, there's no guarantee they did what we asked. Two possibilities will come out of this. The three members of D-Team will die. Or it's our heads on the chopping block. <laughs> Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. So we're making these decisions, and then we're gonna jump. I mean, we're gonna jump to Q team and like make another decision. That yeah, all based in this. It seems sort like of we all need to do situation. these three setup ones. Yeah, but then, but then it's like we don't really know what the outcome is going to be from all of this right away. Possibly. Absolutely not, because yeah. hypothetically, if we wake up in the the next round after this first one, we should remember because right. the drug hasn't been administered. But if there's other fragments available, we don't know. We don't know. That's there's true. a lot of things. Right. Here. Right. Cause then you yeah. could bounce somewhere else. Um, okay. Let's, let's go, go ahead and meet Q team. I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, these new people. <laughs> Who are these folks? We can't even what do you know out. about the morphogenetic field? Yeah. Yeah. Who are you guys? What, what, what have you got going for yourselves? Execution. Q. Q. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's slurping up a piece of spaghetti if he was a little face. <laughs> oh, the prep room. Okay, we got a prep room. We got another decontamination room. A lot of decontamination rooms. Yes, each ward has one, mm -hmm. looks like. Whoa. Whatever that is. Quantum computer dome. <laughs> Casual. Cool. Great. Uh, the pod, pod room. room. Okay. Uh, the bio lab. Okay. Is that where this we are now? Weird. Yeah. There should be another room around here somewhere. Uh, let me see it. Uh, hey! Shut up! He's got the right to see it too. Mira. Thank you. Okay. So. There should be a lounge. Is it's that what we're pretty for pointless you? to hang out here, kicking our heels. They were already in the lounge. Let's go oh, to were. the lounge. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where they started. That's go. the that's the one room that looks identical in each. Yeah, this one. Oh, okay, okay, cool. All around the the central elevator. Yep. What is this? Let's inhibit the virus. Ha! <laughs> that's funny. Maybe someone's gonna remove or control some kind of virus. Virus? What virus? Uh, we got the wrong people in here. Yeah, <laughs> these the people know nothing. What will we do? Don't ask me. But if we don't do it, doesn't that mean we'll die? Yeah. Even if C team voted for D team, and D team did the reverse, if we refuse, then we get two votes against us automatically. And Q team would be killed. I suppose that's true if this game is for real. So you're saying it's a joke? Don't you think that would make a whole lot more sense? The DCOM staff will probably pop through that door over there yelling surprise. Oh, I get it. You're right. Guys. Then him being here makes sense now. I bet that means you're part of the whole surprise. Mm, no. Come on. Take off that helmet. I can't. Huh? I said I can't take it off. Damn, brat. Stop bullshitting me! Uh, stop! Stop! <laughs> Eric, you'll what are you... break my neck! Eric, Come Eric, this is a bad it's look really on there. for you. Wait, yeah, right out the gate. Yeah, <laughs> there's something on the side of this thing. Oh, oh, oh! What the hell? 
Unfortunate. Isn't it a password input? Does that mean the helmet comes off with the right numbers? Or maybe his head will explode. Uh, hey! Really? Who are you? Oh. Do you know who you are? I don't know. Nope. I don't remember. I woke up and I was here. Are you saying you have amnesia? Um, maybe. We got. We always gotta have one amnesiac in the yep, group. Yep, we had seven. <laughs> we, we had, had K, K. We have Q. Uh, awesome. Great. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the thing on your head? Could I ask you something? What? Oh my god, they're just at the bar. <laughs> they're just <laughs> like, what else are we gonna they're do? Like, what, what if we pass out before the drugs get into us? And like, what happens then? That's fine. I mean, like, the answer is they die. They probably. die, and they don't get to remember. Well, I mean, they'll be dead, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who is Zero? I don't know why these people would know, I was but. Wondering, um... Who is Zero? Oh, come on! Stop playing! You know everything, don't you? I told you, I don't... So you're gonna stick with the idea that this isn't some big surprise? I don't know. I don't remember anything. If this isn't a joke, then things are really serious. Then you're saying one of the teams is actually going to be executed? <laughs> They're just like, oh, whatever. We'll just, it's a joke. Why would someone come in. do Let's that? Just get some drinks. Zero said, it's a, a game. So then he's a psychopath. This Zero guy's probably off somewhere enjoying seeing us freak out. He could be that serial killer in the news. <laughs> oh. That's that heart ripper, yeah? Yeah. Rumor is they killed 18 people all in the past few years. Ooh. March 15th. 2026. The body of a young female was found in a park in Roseville. Oh, the one that was running. The victim's name yeah. was Virginia Bailey, age 28. The chest was ripped open and the heart entirely removed. It happened again on May 22nd, 2026. The body of a male was found in a trash can near a residence in Sacramento. The victim's name was Jeffrey Foray, age 37. His body was just like Virginia's, with the heart completely gouged out. Two months later, on July 29th... Hey, wait a minute. Don't you have amnesia or something? Why do you know all this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but I knew. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Eric has some, like... Big old, like, James Sunderland vibes going on here. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Allison, yes! Does he not? Like, he even kind of looks like James him. He's James Sunderland! He's James Sunderland! He's like, got the same... He same, sounds like, like him? He sounds kinda? like him. He's got that weird, like, I don't get why you're here or why you're feeling the way yeah, you're feeling. Like, <laughs> like, you seem perturbed, but I don't know if that's, yeah. like, an overreaction or an underreaction yeah, to whatever's going on. I can't pin him down. Oh, my God. But that's what he feels James like to James Sunderland. Sunderland. <laughs> God. Yeah, like, he even looks you like You really hit too. the nail on the head with that one. Like, that, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, James Sunderland, what are you doing in this game? <laughs> get, get, back, get back in Silent Hill! <laughs> like, well, I mean... Or stay, or stay maybe here. stay out of Silent Hill. Yeah, actually, it's I don't great. know which of the two is better for you, James. I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, he's like, I'm not James, I go by Eric now. <laughs> <laughs> I put my past behind me. Oof. Oh my god, okay. wow. Yeah, I was listening to him, like, who does he sound like? Who does he yeah. feel like? Yep, yeah, that's it. You're really yeah. right, though. Oh, oh my god. Weird. That's all I'm gonna think about now. Mm -hmm. Um, Where are we? Yeah, well, we know, but I was these guys don't know. Well, they where know. are we? Sort of. Weren't you yeah, listening kind of. to Zero earlier? We're 50 meters underground in a bomb shelter. I know that, but where exactly? <laughs> Uncanny. I know. Uh, <laughs> I doubt we're very far from DCOM. Uh, DCOM? Dwelling for the cohabitation of Mars. 
So, it's an experiment to see if we could survive on Mars? So everyone else uh -huh. was at DCOM. Okay. But we all lived Q together in that compound wasn't. for five days. C team and D team were there too. Oh, and there was a dog. It was incredibly old. <laughs> I think his name was Gab. But not you. You weren't there. It's very suspicious. Oh, what were they testing for? Psychological data, mostly. It was a closed environment for a group of people for an extended period of time. So how would that mess with the subjects mentally? That was what they were trying to investigate. Uh, what made you sign up? <laughs> Tough question. It seemed like it'd be kind of fun, I guess. Eric? I joined because Mira wanted to. That's it? <laughs> well, maybe not entirely. That's a weird relationship. Weird. That that speaks a lot about a lot. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I mean, it's just like I came here because of marriage. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> He's like, well, I mean, not entirely. I but... mean, like, seriously, dear. <laughs> what wait, is your relationship? Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, uh, let's say that in a sec. Oh shit, I was gonna say something else. Sorry. Um, oh, okay. I was gonna say so they this facility. This bomb shelter that's way down, it sounds like it is different from the Mars experiment. It's like they were in the Mars experiment for five days and then something happened and they zero put them down here into the decision game. Potentially. I mean it yeah. may be it may be that they were this was part of the Mars experiment, but it wasn't an area that they were part yeah. of. I mean I don't it kind of seems like they're thinking that as well, that this yeah. is somehow part of the Mars experiment. Um but at least physically these guys. It's a, it feels like a slightly different place. Yes. Yeah because but DCOM is somewhere because we else. Flipped the coin and they woke up outside. They woke up outside of DCOM it looks yes. like so we can't be too far. No, that's true. I think yeah. we're just under decom. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think that's probably I think we're just, likely. Like just fifty meters down yeah. underneath. Yeah. Uh yeah, what is your relationship? Mira, Eric. What's going on between you two? Going on? Uh, uh well. Are you in love? <laughs> Idiot! No, uh, we're not. We're not? Uh, well, well we're not, <laughs> not, but Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What is guys? this? <laughs> That's the end of the scene. Clearly we got no more. We struck a nerve there. God, All right. Really, he's throwing out you know, Sunderland. I've been trying to figure something this out for Sunderland vibes are real strong. Yeah. What is this thing? Maybe it's a Force gift from box. Zero. Uh, so what, you think there's a sorted tease inside? Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? <laughs> hey, what the hell? Stop! No. Wow, well, you can pick it up! Bomb. Freeform. A bomb? Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, something's on the back. Um, I think this is upside down. Why is this so one not so this heavy? this would be the front. That would, that's a question. Or this kid's super Force strong. Pit box? Oh. I guess it stopped something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. Or everyone's got and Radical we Six, and right? uh, we're on the moon. <laughs> we're on the moon. <laughs> but what? It's a running theory. <laughs> At all times. Your life. If in doubt, assume that you're perceiving that things at, <laughs> at one six way. time. Oh, let's go. Or at the root of six. Yes. Uh, yeah. How did you? You came through the vent. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Why don't you go in? Uh, I can't. Just I do it, will you? See? You didn't have this stupid thing on your head. Hey, check this out. There's something inside the case. Is that a coaster? Oh, there's something on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you get it? They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? Spread? Oh my god. I, get I it. respect if each yeah. team calm. ends up with one vote each. I'm I'm really here for Mira right now. Yeah. <laughs> will be executed. She's real chill. Oh, this is the attitude. That's a great yeah. idea. Okay, now we have a plan. Let's do it. Um, but wait. Why should we wait? 
Well, <laughs> like how you well, pause mid block. Yeah. <laughs> hasn't been delivered to D team yet. You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects towards C. I doubt Gab's made his way to Ward D yet. We need to figure out how to notify D team then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. There was some at the bar, right? <laughs> I love that there's just cheese at and the bar. <laughs> like for the dog. <laughs> Zero's like, you will die in 40 minutes, but I got you a lovely cheese plate. There's <laughs> cheese here. You should feed it to yeah. the dog. And these like little lace doily coasters. I know, where does everyone get these coasters? I guess it's only one coaster. What exactly one coaster. are you I doing? Putting cheese in there. Yeah. Prep room. Did you find the other vent? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually on the map. Ah, yeah. nice. Perfect. Oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents, then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yep. Go, Gab, go! We just need to take the cheese and... Just toss it in there. Go! Go! Oof. There he go! Go, old dog! <laughs> old old you, dog! Gab. Think it'll work? I'm sure it will. Oh, Gab. <laughs> I like Q's voice a lot. I do too. It's just very cute. Yeah. <laughs> very well voiced. Five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. <laughs> I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C team is a trap. Trap. They're all considering the same thing, so that's. Could have well, it's also, yeah. but maybe Carlos it's is planning to vote for, for Q us team to kill instead. Q team. Yeah. Hey, so wait actually, a now. <laughs> Q team has the right of it. True. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But. The deadline to vote. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have knows. to use force. Uh, hey, wait! If someone else tries to vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have, I mean, obviously we've tried next to nothing so far. Yeah, it's true. So it's hard to tell. Yeah. Okay, time to decide. Okay, so they need to vote for C-Team. Right? Yeah, in order for everything to be a wash. Okay, and if we're going on the ally, all ally all the time, at least preliminary vote thing, yeah. then what we would want to do is vote for C team. Right now. Hypothetically. Yes. We could throw a huge wrench in the plan and murder Sigma and no! buy right up at the beginning of this video game. I don't want to do that. No, right? <laughs> it sounds terrible. No. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I would want to vote for C team. Okay. Um, I think that is fair. Spread the votes like they had planned. So. All right. Um, would but, you want to do that next time? Yeah. Okay. We could, we could do that next time. So next time we're going to vote for C team and we're going to see how all this all plays out. I'm going to guess it doesn't. And we get new nodes that are completely unrelated. And then we got to start piecing things together. Yeah, I, I think regardless of how, how all these votes go, probably next time we're gonna get out of this thing where we all do the first three preliminary ones. Yeah. Uh, and well, we kick off the game for real. Yeah, well this is crazy because we've got these nodes, these little fragments of situations to jump to, but then in those fragments there are little trees that are branching in there as well from when you decide to like yep. who to choose to execute. And then there's also another flowchart somewhere, like a, a big one that relates to the actual, like, the three teams themselves. Well, so we've got three layers of charts. Like, yeah. we've got the team select, we've got the global flowchart, and the flag I'm it's gonna let fragment me just do this. flowchart. Yeah, so, um, oh, I guess this is just for the fragment. So we want so the global flowchart. Global flowchart flow is that one. Okay, so this aligns basically with what we know so far. These seem to be the first um, instances of voting after the coin flip. So right now we're going chronologically. 
What we don't know is whether that's going to continue. Okay. Um, so they know Gab because Gab was in DCOM with them. Yes, Gab okay. was in DCOM with them. All right. So it looks like we are at the beginning of whatever's going on here, at least so far as we can tell. Yes. Uh, but obviously it's not the beginning of the Mars experiment because mm -hmm. they had some time before all of this. I like that the little icon for like scenes happening is a little like little camera yeah, it's film. film reel because yeah. it's playing out like as a scene for you. That's mm -hmm. a cool way to show it. And because that's what they are now. Like, yeah. They're just, so, they're, they're actually like fleshed out scenes. They are. Um, that, and it, it's a big change, but they yeah. are. So we've got fleshed out scenes, we've got decisions, we've got endings. And then what we're missing are obviously puzzles, yeah. <laughs> which are probably like, going to happen at some point. <laughs> we have yet to encounter a we puzzle yet. We haven't seen a puzzle yet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we we saw them in the rooms, kind of, but we didn't actually, yep. like, play them. Um, we haven't had a situation yet where we need to play them, so... Okay, well, I guess next time we will vote and then wake up with our memories intact and go from there. Sounds I think. like a plan. And hopefully everyone's alive. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye, folks. <laughs>